Bond reform is a complex issue, and KPRC2 Investigates has been tackling it for some time now. At 6 o'clock, investigator Robert Arnold examined the controversial policy, highlighting one tragedy that's tied to bond reform. And tonight, investigator Mario Diaz shows us where some of these murders are happening in Harris County and whether or not judges tied to these cases have anything to say about them. Police are investigating four homicides today. All of them happened before noon. The man's body found in a ravine. The victim is a Hispanic male in his late 20s. Homicides in Harris County. The victim was taken to the hospital where he died. Highlighting a legal system victims' advocates say is broken. Investigators are reviewing surveillance video after a man is shot to death in a car. 530 people murdered in Houston and Harris County last year. The man is dead and a child hurt in a shooting in West Harris County. Many committed by career criminals. A man accused of murder in a 2016 killing on Houston's south side is now facing another murder charge. His brother got him into it. Monica and Armando De Leon's 18-year-old son, Macario, was shot and killed in early December after crossing paths with Luis Ibarbo. I was angry, and I still am. The De Leon's say their son should have never encountered Ibarbo. I'll never be able to understand life as it was before, and my heart will never be complete. Not only do they blame Ibarbo, but also Harris County Judge Ramona Franklin. You all, I am, we are the gatekeepers of justice. The De Leon's say Judge Franklin let the gates of the 338th Criminal Court fly open granting Ibarbo bond. The 21-year-old's rap sheet includes aggravated robbery with a deadly weapon. His bond was revoked last July at the insistence of prosecutors. But Franklin allowed bond yet again. And by mid-October, he was back on the streets. Weeks later, police say he shot and killed Macario in this Greenspoint area parking lot. The judge has as much blood on her hands just as the guy who pulled the trigger. Judge Franklin turned down multiple requests for interviews, and she's not the only judge who won't talk about the problem. I've been in the practice of defense law for 30 years. Judge Lori Chambers Gray remains silent, too. Out of the 27 cases we identified, where investigators say a murder was committed by a suspect out on multiple bonds, Judge Gray handled four of them. Each judge has, uh, you know, the, the, the jurisdiction of their court. Judge Chris Morton of the 230th Court had one case out of the 27. He's also the only judge who agreed to be interviewed. I may disagree with some of my colleagues with the practices they have. I can't say what they're doing is right or wrong. All I can say is what I am doing in my courtroom and what I interpret the law to be. County Commissioner Rodney Ellis is considered the architect of bail reform in Harris County, designed to address inequities in criminal justice. But the reforms Ellis helped design are now having a disproportionate effect on public safety in his own precinct. Our analysis of 27 homicide cases over the last two years involving suspects out on multiple bonds found 12 of those homicides happened in the area Ellis represents. I'm now representing one of the poorest precincts in the state. Clearly, criminal justice issues are always a problem. Is there anything you would change? Oh, there's a hell of a lot I would change. You know, I'd invest a lot more money in alternatives to just locking people up. But with that, you got to make sure we're safe as well. State lawmakers want change, too. Senate Bill 532 would prevent judges from giving a defendant a zero cash bond if they're accused of a new offense while already out on another zero cash bond. It also would prevent bonds for felony cases if the suspect already is facing two or more other felony charges. But the bill has a long way to go to become law. The rights here in Texas and in the nation are being denied due process. Judge Ramona Franklin proclaimed the justice system is failing in Texas. Armando De Leon says she's had a hand in it. Both he and Monica wonder how Judge Franklin can be held accountable for the loss of their son, a child that in their eyes will forever be their baby. How is the judge gonna pay? That's what I wanna know. How can judges operate differently on the bench? Politicians in Austin are trying to get new legislation passed this session.
You'll hear from them tomorrow morning on KPRC2 News Today. As for what Harris County Sheriff Ed Gonzalez and Houston Police Chief Art Acevedo think about bond reform, you can watch a KPRC2 Investigates Web Extra right now at click2houston.com slash investigates. Mario Diaz, KPRC2 Investigates.